losses. So they could easily be looking at a 13 and 4 season. They've avenged one of those losses in the first round against Louisville. So today it's all about draw control. You're looking at Maddie Jenner right there. Only had two draw controls in the regular season matchup against Boston College, where Boston College dominated the draw circle. Jenner has 108 draw, 180 draw controls on the season. Look for her. She needs to be a big factor in placing the ball and winning possession. So if Duke is going to pull the upset to their final Wednesday, it all starts at the draw. And they've got the right draw taker, Maddie Jenner, the all-time leader in the history of this sport in draw control wins. 14 in blue, and she'll be going against Ryan Smith for Boston College, 18 in white. Maddie Jenner has had a storied career for this Blue Devil team. The Blue Devils, they have to win this game for their season to advance. They would not be eligible for the NCAA tournament. So there's a lot on the line for these Duke graduating players. Eight teams come to Charlotte, all with the dream to win an ACC championship. And we are underway in what should be a wild Wednesday quarterfinal. Full day of lacrosse, four games coming your way on ACC Network, and it starts with Boston College possession. The Eagles have one minute in to our first of four quarterfinals of this ACC championship at the top seed, Boston College. An opening goal, Jen Medjid, beautiful spin. And Duke trying to pull the upset. We said draw controls would be a huge factor in this game for the Blue Devils. And they've started games very well, both against Louisville and North Carolina. They got up on the Tar Heels 5-1 in the regular season finale. They've yet to touch. The draw control wins. Much-needed draw control win for Duke, their first of the game so far. When you say the draw controls are the key, what sort of percentage should Duke be aiming for? Well, Duke, because you have Maddie Jenner, I mean, you could almost get probably 80%. Wow. She is 180 draw controls on the season. That's Maddie McCorkle with the assist. Excellent vision. I think they're going to say that Duke went early, so Boston College is going to get possession of that draw. If they can't tell who, who did the infraction, it would be alternating possession back and forth. Here's Sidney Scales, a defender going to go and scores! The junior defender who's an all-ACC first-teamer for defense puts it in the back of the net. She's definitely not on Duke's scouting report of who to watch out for on the scoring. Sydney Scales gets her first goal of the season. She's only taken one other shot this year. And she looked at her look behind you. She's seen, is anyone behind me? Is anyone coming? The switch to the hands, the placement of the shot. It is a huge boost when a defender scores or someone that's not usually scoring. Love the presence of mind. She's just not going to run through the traffic. She dodges to the open space. What did Acacia Walker call her? Is she in a backyard baller? Well, she's living up to her name with that goal. I love when defenders score. Usually we're rooting for Cindy Scales with her awesome defensive plays, getting the ground balls in the defensive end. Big score, three different goal scorers for Boston College. And an instant answer. Just 26 seconds after Duke gets their first goal of the game, Sydney Scales, an immediate answer. Now Maddie Jenner being told to sub out of the draw control circle here. And the draw has so much importance. You know, you see the scoreboard, Boston College 3, Duke 1. The draws reflect that. Looks like Maddie Jenner's wiping her hand off. Oftentimes, if you're sent out of the draw circle, you, you have blood on you. So getting that cleaned up and another ball start. Boston College's ball once again. 
If a team has won the draw... The team been in five national championship games, five straight ones, so so much experience. And for Duke, only the one, and it's Maddie Jenner who's in the draw control circle right now. Dana, you were in the Duke huddle. It was really just back to fundamentals, Jay, on the defensive end. Point of emphasis, they did not like that Sydney Scales goal. They just got to work on their 1v1 and their positioning. And on the offensive end, they challenged the Duke attackers. Don't say so flat. That Katie Keller cut was a perfect. In that 8-9 game, because Duke had to win their way into the quarterfinal, they went on the road and beat Louisville, is now the team has played 60 minutes with their backs against the wall, knowing that if you lose this game, your season ends, and they can bring that mentality into this game against Boston College today. Well, I think it's so important and not something that you want to shy, shy away from. In that Louisville game, if they lost, their season is done. These great senior players and grad students, their career is over. So you've got to play with that emotion. She had to challenge them. Even when they were in the fourth quarter, she said, we have 15 minutes. Do you want to continue the season, or is it going to be over? Really put them into pressure, and they were able to pull it out with a one-goal win. And after a slow start, they fast setting the tone for those younger players, and she's done that brilliantly. She really has emerged that leadership role. And I'd say that even as a freshman, people were looking up to her. Acacia Walker saying even when she was an eighth grader, she remembers her coming to camp, and everyone was just in awe of the way she played, the way she got hyped up her teammates, just the energy she was won this championship for six straight years against a first-year program in Clemson. I know Clemson, they are a first-year program. Allison Kolick has done a great job. They've really had a good schedule coming up with some key ACC victories, but they have 20 transfers on their roster. So even though they're a first-year program, a lot of veteran experience. Gone. You can beat your defender with change of speed. Your defender doesn't know when you're going to start and stop. So if your ability to slow down, stop, start back up, you can get somebody off balance. And that's one of some of the things that these best offensive players and really even defensive players on the clear do. That's a way that you can make yourself effective. You know, for much of Medjid's career, she was in the shadow of Charlotte North. And Charlotte's going to be part of our crew later today, part of the ACC championship here in Charlotte. But now I feel like she's really emerged as, a, she's always been a scorer, but individual efforts, not just needing the, the feed. She can, you know, it's so fascinating. You get an inside look of, the psyche of a, a coach in a tournament like this. And we've dealt with Acacia Walker over the last few seasons. She and she somehow always convinces her team that they're the underdog. Yes, which is, I think, you know, a, a good spot to be in. And they really thrive in that role. They want to be the hunter, even when they were the number one seed in this tournament. I'm sure she's telling them we've never been able to do this. We know she's been telling it. That's what she said to us. Never been good enough to win this ACC tournament. But you, you love her coaches. I mean, they, they really read the team emotion. So perhaps she's just trying to challenge them to play to excellence. There's sometimes when you need to push. There's sometimes when you need to hold back as a coach. And it's a fine line of really working that. And she's one of the masterminds in this game. And that re review is a, an experimental rule this year. Not all teams have used it. Not all conferences have used it. ACC is one of those conferences that have opted to use it when available. We've seen different games though when different schools have opted either they don't, the facilities aren't set up for it properly yet. So not, we've seen it in a few instances, not a ton. What do you think of it, Sheehan? I like it. It depends. I mean, we, I think we're, we're still learning right now. You just can use the replay for the clock, for differences in the clock if you need to reset it and try to figure out how much time is allowed. And if it's a... And that simultaneous whistle has its fans and detractors a goalie or a defensive player, you hate it because you hear the whistle and part of you stops. Even though you're told to play through the whistle, it just causes you to hesitate sometimes. What a draw control win for Maddie Jenner. Well, that is why she's won more draws than any other player in the history of the sport. She's won three in a row right now, trying to bring her team back in this quarterfinal matchup. Over. You're going to try everything. Yeah, and oftentimes, the switching of the goalies we've seen in multiple games could just be for a few minutes. Give the goalie a break to seize the game from the sidelines. Have your defense reset. Now, Madison Drebbing has had a lot of game experience this year. Sophia LaRose has been battling a medical condition this season, so has not been available for all the games or for all the moments. But she is who they'd like to have in the game.
Duke has won four straight draw controls, but they've failed to capitalize on all that possession. Whereas Boston College has been extremely efficient. Nine of 16 shooting, seven different. A bit too easy for the BC defense. And you saw in some of those Dolce, Dolce saves, she was just really hugging the post very tightly and Duke wasn't trying to shoot around her. She does not look like a freshman out there, Dana, though. Just such confidence and poise. And you need that as a goalie. I think you got to have that attitude. You've got to bring your own juice back there. You're all by yourself at times, out on an island. Got to reset that quick reset. We spent time with a lot of goalies. And you know, they always will say, like, you have to forget. Up ...and made the defense for Boston College shift. And that's what Duke has been missing offensively. You have to create movement. Got to create movement, and all of, Boss, all of Duke's goals have been assisted. Five goals, five assists. And another draw control win for Duke. The Blue Devils, if they're going to come back, it shocked Boston College, pulled this massive upset, trailing by four now. It's going to be because of Maddie Jenner, either at the draw or scoring goals. Goal advantage with 5.30 remaining in this third quarter. Now that's the first goal for Boston College in more than 15 minutes. It's very rare you see this high-powered offense go so quiet for so long. Well, it's been a, a weird quarter also, a weird third quarter with both teams only having a goal. Plays. So I, I think the multi-sports is so really an important aspect of your development. So oftentimes when the possession is aw awarded right away, if it's not clear who the infraction was on, and the infractions can be if you move before the whistle, whether it's, that's with your, moving your stick a little bit. Nothing scoring run, just as Duke had cut it to four. What a response at the end of this third quarter from BC. 10 seconds though, still plenty of time for either team to score if they can get possession cleanly. Boston College has never got a handle on it. 2007 with men's soccer, so bringing the trophy back to Chestnut Hill is a big deal to this BC team. It's a big deal. They've been able to bring the national championship trophy back, which is absolutely amazing. But Dana told us at the start that they've had that men's soccer ACC championship trophy all week long at practice. They put it on a table. They won. Megan Tyrell, Izzy Skane, those two name, names kind of at the top of the list. If Boston College were to go on a run and say win ACC's and win a national championship again. I wouldn't be surprised if Bell Smith's name enters that conversation. Uh, make no bones about it. This, the end of this tournament, there will be, in my opinion, another one of those players, besides Megan Tyrell, that is one of those five to our time finalists. I think whoever emerged as one of the stars of this tournament. Last five shots. Part of that is Ryan Smith dominating at the draw control. She's won four in a row. I think Maddie Jenner is going to obviously go down as one of, if not the best draw control taker in the history of the sport. But her kryptonite in two matchups has been Ryan Smith, both in the regular season and today in the quarterfinal. You know, the Eagles, the entire unit, looks like she is going to get possession of this one. But up until that draw control possession, she'd only had one draw control, and the regular season was only limited to two. So Boston College you know, has been studying what this Duke team has done, try to counter it. They weren't going to divulge all the secrets, and they shouldn't, because they have to, <laughs> if they win this game, they've got to go up against some excellent draw teams in such an important aspect in the women's game and how you get possession. And no one does it better than Maddie Jenner, but you, you've got to give a tremendous Maddie Jenner. She utilizes the whole shaft. She has her bottom hand at the end. Ryan Smith chokes up a little bit. It's all about feeling. And another drop control win for Boston College. Reynolds runs that down. Duke not giving up, though. The Blue Devils know they need to win. 
every 50-50 from here on out. They've got to turn this fourth quarter into make it, take it lacrosse. They just got a goal with Greco. It's finding that balance of you. Where do you want to be peaking? You always seem to have your team peaking at the right times, we told her, and she said, you know, we're doing well, but we have things to improve. And one of those is their shot percentage. On the year, they've been shooting 47%. She wants to be at 50%. So it's those minor tweaks, and you got a player like Jem Medjid, who is shooting well above it today. You know, it just, it's amazing. And they've won the national championship. But this ACC tournament, we say it all the time, it's a gauntlet. There's so many excellent teams. BC, though, had one of the upsets of the season against Syracuse, who held that number one spot nationally and in the ACC for much of the season. They took them down last week, so BC got the number one seed. With her, because she does a lot off ball, but she hasn't been able to score, so she is still that threat. But when she gets hot, it makes the other players around her work just a little bit harder on the O end. Jenner, another draw control win. Duke with two goals in 16 seconds. Can they Abby Herod is now in. Duke on a 3 nothing scoring run. Maddie Jenner has six draw controls to her name. Four have come in this fourth quarter. And Duke has four goals in this fourth quarter after only scoring four the entire first half. Jenner wins it to herself again. In what could be her final collegiate game, the sport's all-time leading draw control winner. An individual effort trying to will her team back, lost the handle there.